to the video. In this episode, I want to focus on the iconic, famous new market in Calcutta. My sister-in-law, Uma, recently visited there to go to the fish market to buy some absolutely delicious looking prawns. And she filmed this process while she was there. So the video will feature that. But what I want to do firstly is provide a bit of background to the new market. So sit back, enjoy. Let's look at the new market, look at its history and then look at Uma buying some fish. Cheers. Kolkata in the mid 19th century. It had been the capital of British India and as such has a substantial colonial population. And this population had been pressing for a market to serve their needs since the 1850s. So in 1871, a committee of the Calcutta Corporation set about planning to build a market for the use of this population. It's sad to say, and indeed quite unacceptable by the standards of today, that the market was initially only open to British people. The corporation purchased Lindsay Street where the new market would replace the former Fenwick's Bazaar. They commissioned Sir Richard Ruskell Bain, an architect of the East Indian Railway Company, to design a market complex in the Victorian Gothic style, which was then highly fashionable in Britain. The builder, Mackintosh Byrne, commenced work in 1873. This massive and for then state-of-the-art shopping arcade was opened on the 1st of January 1874 with much ceremony. Its red brick elevations and decorative facades featured pillared alleys, shuttered arched windows, tall spires and wide eaves, all characteristic of Victorian neo-Gothic architecture. As this market replaced the old Fenwick Bazaar, it came to be known as the New Market, a name which has stayed to this day despite the fact that on the 2nd of December 1903, the market was officially named the Sir Stuart Hogg Market to honour this key supporter of the project in the 1870s. This name was later shortened to Hogg Market, which occasionally it is still called. But for most of us, it is simply New Market. The iconic clock tower was actually a much later addition dating from the 1930s. The clock was manufactured in Huddersfield, England and then shipped out to India for installation. Early market traders included exclusive retailers like Rankin and Company dressmakers, Cuthbertson and Harper shoe merchants and R.W. Newman or Thacker Spink stationers and book dealers, all very British. Today, by contrast, the market houses over 2,000 stalls under its roof, as well as countless traders in the surrounding area. It has become an iconic and very Indian centre of trade. You will find traders selling everything from clothing to wheeled luggage, electronics to speciality cheese from the hill station in Kalimpong. Beneath the noise and general hubbub of this thriving place, can be found extraordinary goods as well as amazing bargains. But you will need to negotiate your price, of course. Newmarket boasts an array of clothes shops, jewellers, flower vendors, including those selling some exotic species, and a dazzling array of food, including raw meat, fish, vegetables, fruits, and endless spices. A trader whose history dates back to the days of the early 20th century is Nahum and Sons, a bakery established by Nahum Israel Mordecai. Nahum was a member of the community of more than 4,000 Jewish people who hailed from the Middle East, notably from Syria and Iraq, and they were known as Baghdadi Jews. Nahum emerged as one of the community's most talented confectioners, and in 1902, he began selling baked goods and cheese from door to door before he formally opened Nahum and Sons Bakery in 1916. This famous institution continues to sell brownies and cream puffs alongside Jewish and Middle Eastern confections, including challah bread and baklava, 
not forgetting the savoury caraway cookies known as kakas, which are a signature of the Baghdadi Jewish community. Then there are crockery and utensil stores, so that you can prepare that delicious meal using the ingredients you have recently purchased. I would be making a beeline for the tea vendors, of course. But unlike a modern shopping mall, there is no air conditioning. So the heat will be as one expects in West Bengal, especially in the spring and summer months. New Market is situated on Lindsay Street, Kolkata, just off the Chowringi Road, and is open from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. Monday to Friday, and until 7 p.m. on Saturdays, but it's closed on Sundays. The New Market has witnessed fires over the years, with two of the worst being on the 13th of December 1985 and the 20th of July 2011. There was another significant fire on the 18th of May 2015. Fortunately, despite all of this, this icon of India soldiers on. Here's my faithful friend Manu Dadlani who's brought me to New Market and he's teaching me how to shop, how to market. <laughs> I'm at the fish market of uh, fish market of New Market, buying prawns. Uh, these are priced at about uh, 350 a kg. He's cleaning the head. You have to clean the uh, dirt in the head, and you have to take out the one black intestine. Otherwise. You will get such bad diarrhea, you will be in bed for days. Cut the head off and take out that little bit bag of dirt. Delicious. It's going to make a lovely prawn curry. The market, a fish market, a new market. 